I didn't have a video for tomorrow, so this might be my Sunday video. Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be a first impressions. Now I know some people don't like first impressions, so here's your warning. This is a first impressions, it's not a review. So if this isn't your kind of video, I get it. <laughs> but we're going to be doing a first impressions on the new Valentino Donna Born in Roma, The Intense. Now, I am gonna follow this video up, but for the most part, my first impressions aren't too off. This is a like, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, this is definitely a like. It's not a love. Not like the original. The original was definitely a love at first sniff. So we're going to go over notes. We're going to go over again how this wore for the first day. I got this one this morning and it's already almost 10 o'clock at night. We've had it for 12 hours. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, just so you guys can see the stunning bottle. This is probably my favorite bottle. It's black to clear and then the juice inside is like this berry pink and then here's the original i do have the original one where it's got this kind of clip i know they changed it this is like the original valentino the one with the gold top not the donna's but the original valentino in this bottle which i do have and then they switched it to this one which i do i do prefer this it just looks it looks nicer just so you can kind of compare them so we're gonna go over the keynotes. I do feel like pretty much I get the keynotes. I do get one other note that they don't list. I'm not saying that's what's in here. There's something in here that's coming off creamy, kind of like a creamy tuberose, but there's no tuberose listed. The keynotes on the new Intense are bourbon, vanilla, jasmine, and benzoin. And this to me is a warm vanilla floral amber fragrance. Yeah, that's pretty much what you get at initial spray. This did remind me of Donna Born Roma until I sprayed them side by side. And then I realized that there are differences. So the keynotes on the original are black currant, jasmine, bourbon, vanilla, and cashmere. I will say that this does give me kind of that fresh black currant, not really that kind of intoxicating. There is something kind of fresh and a little bit bright in the opening, almost like there's a citrus, like maybe bergamot that's in this one. And then I get that kind of fresh black currant. This one's fruitier than the Intense and a little bit more, I would say fruity sweet. And then this one's definitely more vanilla sweet. To me, what's intense about this one is the jasmine and the bourbon vanilla. That is very much amplified in this scent, and that is where I'm getting the Donna Borna Roma DNA. But when you're sniffing them side by side, it puts the jasmine and the bourbon vanilla in the original to shame. Like, it is intense in here. Now, usually vanilla fragrances can turn my stomach, especially when it's a vanilla forward fragrance. It has to have other things going on. And for me, what's kind of saving this fragrance, but at the same time, what is bothering me about this fragrance is the jasmine. The jasmine in here is both a kind of clean soapy jasmine and an indolic jasmine. And it kind of isn't going away. So I'm hoping that because this is the first day and it needs to settle, that's what's going to change in here because that's what's ruining it for me but also what's saving it for me it's keeping the bourbon vanilla from being sickingly sweet but it's got that kind of vintage mature indolic jasmine vibe so this one i do feel is the more mature out of the two this is donna born and roma's older sister she's sexier she's bolder she's in your face she is more intense but she's not fruity to my nose i don't get any fruits and again, I'm getting something like a creamy, I don't know, something creamy, maybe even like Oris. Again, I'm not sure what it is. They only list the three notes in this one. Again, it's a like, not a love. I think it will be a love if it settles and the jasmine comes off a little bit more like the synthetic jasmine I love, which is that kind of soapy, clean jasmine. So I'll have to report back. But initially, again, a strong like. It is the more intense of this one, but this one's a little bit more fruity and fresh. It's got a little bit more going on to it. Definitely when you sniff them initially side by side, they don't smell the same. It's in the deep 
dry down. I got this one like when I came back from my walk with my mom this morning. It was about around 10 o'clock. Slapped it on. Then I cooked breakfast, hung out with my mom for a little bit, then she left, and then I took a shower. I will say that in the shower because I had just sprayed this one and I kind of doused myself with it. It was like wafting up and I did like it after the shower, but then when I resprayed it, I don't know, it's just the jasmine right now isn't sitting right with me. At first impressions, this has pretty decent longevity. I will definitely follow this up in more detail and let you guys know, but it's not the intense Donna Born in Roma in its entirety. I would say it's the jasmine and the bourbon vanilla that is intense. So if you are a vanilla lover, you might really enjoy this one. If you also enjoy jasmine, I feel like those are the keynotes is what you get most. I don't get any fruitiness. This is a warm vanilla floral fragrance. Again, this is the new Donna Born in Roma Intense. So that is my very quick first impressions on this new fragrance. It is pretty late. I'm hoping to edit this and get it up by tomorrow. But let me know in the comments below, do you guys plan on picking this fragrance up? Or if you've already picked up this fragrance, what are your thoughts on it? But that will do it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.